down, Duty to Stage, you here, and we got an Orcs Bane versus Storm Mesa 1, 2, 3, and 4. And I'm going to start with Storm Mesa 2 here. This is the box formation that I like to use the most. I do not like four corners on Storm Mesa 2 because someone inevitably goes through the bomb path and dies, and, you know, a team of high level. Uh, counts fails against Storm Mesa 2. So here, here we've got Orcs Bane in there. Look at the blue flashing going on there. And what happens is during a stun, okay, when the boss stuns all team, you still see the blue flashing. Orcs Bane does not get stunned. And so he's immune to that stun, which makes him very, very, very good in Storm Mesa mode, I've found. And it just makes just everything really smooth because you got healing. There's a heal right there during the stun. That one heal, even though it's like for, what, 4,000-ish at this point, it's still working out great. Right now, the Sorx Bane's at 5 of 9 on his ability. And we got the green box there. Good job, guys. Kevin 15, HST Red Bull, Crass Kill. And, of course, myself got fuzzy. And now we're going to do a Storm Mesa 3 here. This is where we do 2 tap 2 bottom. And I took the bottom there, and I'm coming up through the top. I tend to bring in the debuffers, so I bring in Dragon and also the Minotaur. And not, he's not really a debuffer, but he gets that stun off, an insta-stun that kind of stuns the whole board, lets my teammates get in, get the job done quickly there. Again, during the stun, you see the flashing blues. You know, every one, two, every basically every two seconds is a blue flash. And that's a, a big heal. And you can see that all the teams are maxed up. There's also Druids present, of course, and they're healing. But you can see only the Orcs Bane heals are ever going off because everyone's healed when there's not a stun because the Druids kick in or the Orcs Bane heals during the stun. So he's obviously extremely good on Storm Mesa because of this reason. Makes everything really smooth. I typically don't do Storm Mesa 3 because I don't really need shards so much. I just found a little bit more success in terms of drop rates on Storm Mesa 2 on the essences it just I feel like I feel like it's a little bit better and there's obviously there's like l way less risk because it's very easy to complete Storm Mesa 2 when I do my box sort of my box formation with Orcs Bane up front it just seems to be basically no risk Storm Mesa 3 there is risk but obviously right now there's not any risk although that did take kind of a long time there at almost what 45 seconds left there 40 so it took over what two minutes 25 plus seconds to take him down there so that's cutting it a little bit close i'm a big fan of completing storm mesa as quickly as possible so i tend to like storm so as he's 474 s smitty powers king meow mix and myself we're going to take on storm mesa 4 i've never used this strategy this is aziz's strategy and I've never used it, and obviously, as you'll see, it's a very good strategy. And I'm surprised I hadn't heard of it before. I really hardly ever do Storm Mesa 4. I did it the second Storm Mesa's came out, Guild Dirty defeated Storm Mesa 4 within 30 minutes. And it was uh, something that we, you know, stumbled upon and found a strategy that worked, and it was not this strategy, but hey. Whatever works, works. And you can see we took out our corner bosses there, the green bosses. And now we're focusing on the blue boss in the center. All of our spirit mages are obviously procking. Orcs bands healing during stuns. He's, I don't, I can't quite tell who has aggro, but I don't think it's Orcs Bane at this point. By the way, he's really the only level 120 that's present on the board right now. And he obviously is overpowered for a level 120. He's got something, like my Orcs Bane has something like, 70,000 hit points because he has tenacity 4 of 5 as his main talent. He naturally has, I think, 45 ish thousand hit points, 42,000 hit points. And yeah, when you just add up that in his inscription level, he's basically the perfect tank. By far the perfect tank. Uh, it's just clearly the best tank because he can heal himself and he can heal during stuns and he doesn't get stunned and he keeps procking, keeps healing, keeps damaging, keeps area of affecting in front of him. And you can see Orcs Bane's clearly at the top. You see the blue flashing. The blue flashing is his proc. You can see it right there. There's like a double proc. 
uses flash flash just like seriously it's like once or twice a second we have a really high level pumpkin dukes in this group there i got nailed the l purple box there s many powers got the blue king meow makes green as a ziza for some fire got the green so that was a great one now here i didn't show storm mesa one because storm mesa one is super easy it's like really easy so like i'm not going to show you that really of course i'm going to show you it in the dirty distagio fashion a little bit different than normal and what I decided to do was the solo Storm Mesa 1. I have not been able to ever do this. And I tried, I want to say, four times, plus a Storm Mesa 2, 3, and 4. So that was seven attempts. And this was my eighth attempt, my eighth Storm Mesa that I had on the docket. And I found that this order and this grouping of heroes was ideal. And really the key for me was, I believe it was I brought in Snowzilla. And what I needed in my combination to make it all work was Druid plus Oryx Bane. Druid plus Oryx Bane plus Pumpkin Duke Cupid. And who is the other one? I want to say it's Snowzilla. There's Snowzilla there at the bottom right corner. Level 144. Oryx Bane level 120. Pumpkin Duke level 156. Druid level 162. Cupid level 160. And that Druid helps me keep Oryx Bane up solid. And it actually looks like my Pumpkin Duke is tanking at this point. You can see that Orcs being level 120 is just sitting there. Oh, no, no, it looks like it... Did it switch aggro? No, it looks... Seems like they're both taking damage, so I'm not quite sure exactly which one of the two is taking, but really it doesn't matter because Druid's healing, Orcs Bane's healing, and everybody's healing everybody. And, and you can see that their Cupid level 60 is not getting hit by anyone because I don't have a Minotaur in, I don't have a Spirit Mage in, I don't have a like an MR tap in or anything that does any ranged area of effect on this team. I just, I needed to go kind of with this combination because I needed that Snowzilla to take down that boss as fast as possible, knowing then, of course, that the rest would be very easy as you can see it was. So it took me just about 58 seconds there, nailed the old blue box on SM1, soloed that for the first time ever, and this is by far the game mode that he shines on, and he also shines on the new Lost Realm and a few other areas of the game like raiding and whatnot, but I'd say very, very not good in Arena, but excellent in Storm Mesa, by far the best hero in my opinion for Storm Mesa. As always, keep it dirty and dirty up.